everyone welcome to nomadic life with morning forest after three and a half years full-time in this little classy winnebago view i've remodeled it now for the second time yes folks two times you have to keep doing it until it's totally comfortable and i think i have it at least for the time being so i've taken out the tiny totally and i'll give you both remodels in this video so stay through the whole video so you get all the details on what's possible in your winnebago view or class c rv this is remodel number one this is how i've had it set up for about a year now i have my berkey water filter up there um, the bench dinette worked out pretty good. I just took out the pad on the backside by the refrigerator so I could put this bracket in to have a place to put my Berkey water filter. And it's worked out pretty good, but it's time for a change because the first remodel, I need to make accommodations for my Rad Mini. This is the end product, so stay tuned for all of the footage coming up to how I got to this point in my RV. So this is pretty much how I had it set up. And it's worked out really good. I was able to keep all of my paperwork over here on this side, tie that Berkey water filter down, have a nice spot for the power supply. And this is where I've been carrying the Rad Mini for about two months now, but I totally am not able to use my swivel seat, which is on my passenger side. I have to move the bike get it put on the other side of the RV, swivel my seat around, so it pretty much made it useless. And I'm like, well, you know how it is when you're mobile, you wanna be able to use what you have without moving everything around. And starting off with the remodel, totally took off the bench seat, cut a piece of plywood so I could actually just put it on the same hinges as the seat, they're nice strong steel, and it's working out pretty good. We'll just get rid of this and see how we can make a change. I cannot get rid of this particular bench seat due to the fact my heater lives underneath it. And I'm not willing to dig into that project to change it out. This area did work really well when I was traveling with my family, my sister and my nephew, CJ. We had a great time. We spent a couple weeks together had a blast on the table, were able to accommodate everybody sleeping, and I just don't travel enough with family to make it worth changing my whole house for, so I will make accommodations for them and get them in when that time arises in the future. So back to getting down to business, and this system worked out pretty good. So I put a bike rack, um, for the tire back here on this seat, I'm able to lift the Rad Mini right up on there and it actually secures pretty well back here, folks. I was able to get it up and down, no problem. The only issue I had was it, my plug, the only plug for that side of the RV now lives behind the bike. So it made it really inconvenient for plugging and unplugging items. Even though I had that little extender system, it hooks up really nice and it worked out for a while the only thing was is i actually covered the chain up and as you can see here it is i used a couple of the rv leveling blocks to make it totally level back there and it rode beautifully back here it just wasn't quite functioning well enough but if you are able to manage this system it works out really good those hinges on the original rv for those seats are awesome they're strong i just bolted the plywood into it bolted the bracket onto the plywood and put my hooks through and it was secure and easy covered up really nice ratcheted down really nice and as you can see here it secures easily and fast and I just used a sarong with a lot of color on it to get some color back into my RV. It worked out well and it kept you from getting grease if you walked by and happened to touch the bike chain. So it covered it up and it made it really nice, kept the sun off of it. So this system worked out really well but I am not going to stay with it. I need to change it out again. And then I put the mounted the lagoon table 
right here on the corner I had to actually when I was underneath there before I put the plywood on I put on some extra brackets to secure that to the floor because there wasn't a whole lot to to actually attach the main mount for the lagoon table works out good and then when I'm traveling I just store the lagoon table right behind the bike here and it sets in there really nice and secure Underneath, I still have my little box with all my little filing system in it and the table. And I was able to use the original hardware on the RV for the fold down table. I cut a piece of plywood, was able to put the little drawer underneath it. It folds down. It's a beautiful little home for my plant and it's nice and secure and it's happy living right there. The Lagoon table works out wonderful, flips around. I actually used the top from a workbench that you can get at Lowe's. It's a hardwood top and I really like the size of it. It worked out well. I kind of offset it on the mounting hardware a little bit so I could have it two different lengths when I have it out. And then it just tucks away and I can move it out of the way when I'm in and about without traveling. Time for remodel number two. The bench dinette number two is out and this is the new start of the remodel. Rat mini positions changed again. And it took a while to find the exact size pieces I wanted with the proper shelves and heights, but this actually worked out really well. I found it and I started on this project right away. This little shelf is awesome. I'll give you more details on it in a minute. And this is the setup for what the inside of the RV looks like currently, at least at the making of this video. It might change soon, but I really am enjoying it so far and I will make adjustments as needed. So stay tuned for more video on explanations on how I did everything. This has a surge protector all built in. And I've got that secured into that position. In the cabinet, still don't even know what I have. An empty bag, a lot of room. It's pretty nice to get everything all cleaned out. I have all my yoga balls and pressure point balls up in there. I've been learned a long time ago not to keep fruit in there because it just gets bashed around. So I just keep my fruit in the refrigerator. And I found one of the studs up on the side of the RV over here. So seems I haven't taken it on a test run yet, but we'll see. Took the bike out for a beautiful ride today. And so with the bench seat being gone, I just have a few holes to patch in the floor. Don't know what I'm going to do there. Uh, I don't know if I can actually redo this floor due to the slide out unit. The slide out unit is in at the moment. And there's still plenty of room to walk around everywhere. So it is quite interesting. plenty of room to move around and the front seat does swivel around and I like the fact that I can just move the chair wherever I want to sit. I will be sitting in comfort and not on that bench dinette. I went with this container for my laundry. So I've got my laundry bag in there. Everybody needs a spot for their dirty laundry. So that's where that is, and, and so I have the lagoon table set up right here. So I can tuck it out of the way, still bring the chair in and work. I can take it to multiple heights, turn it around this way, set going facing out. So I have multiple views and still room to walk through. Well, I have to clean the floor up, but I would really like to replace it 
instead of just getting it all scrubbed up. But being so slight out goes all the way back in. I just don't know how. That is one solid piece of metal there on that slide out. So I just don't know how I'll be able to do that. But I'm gonna have to do some research because that would be optimal. But there is my new office setup with the Rad Mini right there. It's gonna work out pretty good. And this is with the slide in. Isn't that amazing? I still have all this room. So if I want to sit back and watch YouTube videos, TV's just right up there. It works out pretty good. Still have some odds and ends to put together, but I think everything's pretty secure. We'll see what happens. I have my Wii Boost. I can just pull it out, set it around, no problem. So wherever I need to go, I have a little extra line on that. I'll be getting the energy k2 as soon as they shipped it i did the pre-order so this unit does not have an inverter and i considered it just changing the whole system out but i thought you know this will be a lot better due to the fact that i'll be able to set up 100 watts onto the k2 from the roof and just bring it right down and keep that charged and i'm going to put 100 watts up on the um top of the RV and tie that into the regular chassis battery so I'll have two independent systems we'll see how that works out but that's going to be not until May okay and that is a wrap up of this video folks remember join me next week because next week we might go into nature and have some really fun videos coming your way thank you for joining me remember to subscribe to the channel folks have a good week